this is my here yesterday uh, in my first series i have solved some simple numerical problem using matlab i have told you how you can convert it in the symbolic form using sims and uh, i also told you how you can convert from symbolic form to numerical form and i also told you how you can convert the equation into double type simply typing the command double so in the series next i will be telling you how you can solve system of linear equations uh, on my display i have some questions 1 2 3 4 5 question i have taken in the first two question uh, i will tell you some linear equation system of linear equation to solve and after that i will tell you how you can solve the equations using the matlab inbuilt command just when we have some formulas in either we will talk in trigonometry or in binomial expansion so we can just simply type the command in matlab uh, expand and collect in binomial equation we use some equations to just x minus a to the power n and all those things then we have to expand all those things but when we are using matlab and we have to expand the equations then we will not go to apply all the time formulas because matlab provides us inbuilt function so let's how you can we can use that uh, let us move with the first problem how we can solve this kind of system of linear equations let's move with our first problem uh, let's switch to matlab first uh, yesterday i have told you to solve the numerical equation with command we have used roots and another one is solve let's uh, define our variables using sims Uh, since x y first our first question is what sorry our first is question is this one is our first question let us move to matlab this is let's uh, we call to solve So simply put the equation. Minus five comma and three into x minus six into y minus four. Uh, it will solve this equation for us, and we have two variables x and y. Uh, we can collect the value p dot x, and uh, this is the value of x, and we can collect it for p dot y. This is the value of y. In the same way, you can solve any system of linear equation. Let's take the equation uh, our second example, in which we have three variables x, y, and z, and we will collect the value for three variables x, y, and z. Let us move to our problem. Uh, this was our problem. You can take any problem. It's not that just I am telling you. You have to use this example. I am only telling you method. Okay. Uh, let's define our variable. Z defined and just be equal to solve x plus. Into y minus c into z minus five comma three into x plus five into y plus six into z minus seven comma two into x plus Four into y plus three into z minus a. We have written the equation. Now we will collect the values p dot x. This is the value of x. P dot y. This is the value of y. P dot z. This is the value of z. This is quite simple. 
we have inbuilt command of matlab solve now uh, let us move with another problem the another problem i have taken because sometimes it is very useful when we design anything as for our signal processing then there are lots of calculation so all time we can't put the equations so we have built in command let's uh, we suppose we have equation mm, x minus 3 uh, into x minus 4 we have to expand this equation we have to expand this equation and we will use uh, for expanding the equation we have to multiply each uh, individual element to one another so we will not do that thing uh, for doing that we will use expand command let's define our variable x now expand expand this is x minus 3 and this is x minus 3 into x minus 4 this is our equation simply multiplied any equation you can multiply you can take uh, any variable uh, just this is simple exam i will give you homework problem you will try and please post the answer if you got the solution let's move for uh, just uh, try for sin 2x or cos 2x formula uh, let's x tan sin 2 x okay. uh, 2 sin x into cos x this is our original formula this is quite simple let's collect now use collect command we have defined our variable x now let us move for collect uh, suppose we have simple equation uh, take any equation i uh, don't i will give directly uh, collect in collect uh, we have suppose x cube x square i will take x square into x square into x minus 2 it will be good now run this simply it will just x square that's multiplied to each individual element x minus 2 that's quite simple we can use this one line of code we can calculate everything for the algebraic mathematics okay now i have solved all the problems uh, these are some example problem i was taken and uh, now just let me give some homework problem for you let's uh, i am giving you just please try it and post the answers if you if you will solve the questions because i have seen on different different forum people used to post how to solve the system of linear equations so i thought to make a video on this topic so it will be quite uh, useful for them who are looking how they can solve this kind of equations this is first problem no This is first one more problem and let's move for a second one in second one i will take for three variable let's uh, copy this one i'm just making a problem for you uh, plus z minus 2z okay now x minus 3y plus j equal to 8 now this is two problem and two problem i will give to use for you expand and collect uh, okay uh, this is uh, let's uh, try for 10 2x uh, try for 10 2 x don't use formula just simply use command uh, another problem for you is 4 use collect one okay x minus 3 to the whole square into x minus 5 try this question and please post the answer when you will solve the question and post the answer uh, it will be very interesting discussion forum 
will become and everyone will post their answer and they will discuss with each other then it will be very good and thanks for watching the video and thanks for your time if you like the video please subscribe it and please share to any other one so that they can also learn this one and please press the bell icon for the further notification thank you